Oh, man's a phantom showing some weekend weakness down 1%, but more importantly, breaking into a bearish pattern, which I have to make you aware of. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean I'm suddenly going to be panicking, but I am looking at this chart because we are seeing some weakness, but I've also seen a larger bullish pattern, which is also playing out. So we need to cover that off. Also a Bitcoin update, because as you guys know, I'm in a Bitcoin long position, but as you can see, the breakout, which I covered off this morning, were two week weekend days right the volume was low it wasn't great yes we did manage to touch 25,000 but we need to rely on tomorrow we need tomorrow to come out really strong with the equity markets and Bitcoin and more importantly see that volume but what I've seen on the four hourly charts is going to get you a little bit worried but I have to bring it to you guys even if it is here on a Sunday I have to get, let you guys know what pattern I'm seeing so we're going to cover that off as well but first let's start off with phantom because phantom is producing this bearish rising wedge now when you break down from a pattern like this let me just switch over to the four hourly so it's a little bit clearer we've just re-entered this pattern right you see a big red candlestick today coming back into this pattern and when you re-enter a pattern like this you're more likely to break to the downside than the upside and if we look at the different pivot points that would mean that 36 cents have come back into play at the next point 32 the next pivot point is then 29 and if you fall all the way to the bottom of your wedge that brings back about the 22 23 cents here on phantom now the saving grace with this is that if i bring out the ema ribbon you do see there is support from the ema ribbon here on the four hourly chart so we do want to see phantom hold this strongly it's going down now here to test the ema ribbon you can also see the bottom of the trend here in the rising wedge so it can come all the way down here to 38 and we still feel confident so only if we lose this pattern here to the downside then we start to get worried so if it's collect collecting some support from its ema that's okay but we need to see this turn sooner rather than later we need to see something like that to come back up now of course bitcoin managing to get above twenty five thousand tomorrow and have a positive week will really help that we've got a clear week this week we've not got much i covered that off earlier in today's video earlier today and we're hoping for a really good risk on week in the equity markets which could help bitcoin start to get itself moving and if it can that will look really good now a few other things i need to bring to your attention let's pop this out of the way let me bring out let's bring out the bollinger band first now as you can see we got rejected by our bollinger band here okay in fact let's do it on the daily chart because it'll give us a little bit more what you can see here on the daily chart is right there. We are getting rejected from our Bollinger Band. So we need to keep an eye on this level because yesterday we ran up, we tried to get above our Bollinger Band, we got sent back down. Now, if we do, the worrying thing is using this Bollinger Band technique is you could come down to collect support from the orange part of the Bollinger Band, the center line. Okay, you can see when we got rejected the last time here, we came back down to the center line. Do you see that here? So if I show you that, you can see we had our run up, we got rejected by the Bollinger Band, we came back down to the red line and we used that as support there. So I'll be watching out for that as well. Also, if we just clear up this chart a little bit, let's pop that out the way. Let's pop the Bollinger Band out the way. Let's now bring out the VPVR. Let's see where are those heavily traded volumes. Now, what you can see is we have got through the bulk of it, which is really good here in Phantom. But this bit is still remaining. So for me, Phantom's got a little bit of work to do just to get above some of these key levels. And then if Bitcoin continues to get roaring, then we can see a good move here on Phantom. So if I just show you what I'm talking about, the levels I'm looking at is above 42. Things start to become a lot easier here on Phantom. Now, the other pattern which I want to show you is let's just remove that VPVR is let's take this neckline here at 43 cents. OK, if we take that neckline at 43 cents, what you could be arguing is forming is a potential Adam and Eve pattern. So if we get the break of that 43 cents or retest, then we can set ourselves up for a big move. And the technical price target of such a move would bring you back into the range of right here, which is your 66, 67 cents. So that looks exciting here on Phantom, another pattern for us to watch. Now, switching things over to the weekly on Phantom, let's bring out the weekly EMA ribbon. And you remember with Bitcoin, I'm saying the relief rally can take you up towards your EMA ribbon. So on Phantom, if we use the same terminology, same uh, thought process, we can say we can get back to 60 cents here as a relief rally here on Phantom. If you go deep into your EMA ribbon, then 69 cents or even 76 cents. So those are the range. So we've got confluence with this Adam and Eve pattern, which is saying you could comfortably get to 67 cents on the breakout of this pattern. That's something we're looking for here 
on Phantom. Now, let's also take a look at Bitcoin because this is the bit that's got me a little bit worried. Now, I need to admit first and foremost that the majority of things are in our favor right now on Bitcoin, okay? So it's not that we're in a, a really big bearish scenario. Obviously, I've entered a long trade and I think that there is a good potential we can have a relief rally in towards that 27, 28, 30,000 range. So I'm looking for that trade and that's what I'm in and I'll be looking to take profits as we get to each of those price targets. But if I switch over to the four hourly, I need to make you guys aware of something. Let's just tidy the charts up a little bit and let's bring this out. Now, what I want to show you is something called bearish divergence. OK, so if I bring out the trend line, you can see here that we've managed to create our higher highs only just. But we did create our higher highs here on Bitcoin. Now, if we take that same uh, distance there and we were to see how is that performing on our RSI, the RSI has unfortunately started to create lower highs. We're in a downtrend on our RSI. OK, so this is a clue that we are seeing bearish divergence. And oftentimes what that means is that the RSI, this here, foreshadows what happens here. OK, it tries to give you an indication of what's going to happen. So when this is calling off, this is almost saying to us, excuse me, this is almost saying to us that what we may be seeing next is the trend change. So maybe we're losing some steam here on the 4-hourly. We may see some sideways action or even some downwards action. Now, on the 4-hourly chart, that's not the end of the world for this trade, right? If you look at Bitcoin and we zoom out for a little bit, it's OK, because we can even come down to this trend line here at 24 and you're perfectly fine. If you lost that, you can come down to the trend line here and you're OK. It's only when you start creating lower lows and particularly this one here, where if you start losing this trend line here, this teal colored trend line, that you start to really lose the trend on the daily time frame. So, yes, I can see that bearish divergence. I'll keep an eye on it over the next set of hours. We'll cover it off tomorrow. But hopefully if the equity market markets open up tomorrow positive, we have no negative things apart from Wednesday, the FOMC minutes come out, which are the minutes from the previous meeting. Then I think the market can get some momentum. Equity should be able to be able to have a good week, barring any you know shock geopolitical issue or some uh, just a normal political issue. And then we should be able to see some risk on behavior. I still think the majority of the market is still underweight, which has been super bullish right now. You have a lot of people that are not willing to accept this rally. And when they're not willing to accept it, that means they're underweight. There are seriously experienced people in crypto who are underweight now, let alone tourists who are going to be coming in and FOMOing. You've got fear and greed in this. Let me just check here. By the last I checked on fear and greed index, 47. 47 today on the fear and greed index. That is high. People are starting to come back into the market. They're starting to see remnants of a rally and they want to take this move up to 30,000 and then beyond, right? So for, for you to be like, oh, the on-chain metrics are showing me we may head back to 17,600. Yeah, that's a pipe dream. If it does happen, great, be ready for it. But to sit there waiting with all your portfolio, all your cash sitting on the sidelines, not in this market, you could be making a huge mistake because this could be running up to 30. This relief rally, this bear market rally can turn and blend into the next bull run. And you will miss it just because you're saying and you're being stubborn and saying, no, it's going to come down. That is why it's not helpful to identify yourself as a bull or a bear. Let the data lead you. Trade, invest, emotionless, logically, rationally using the data in front of you. Guys, don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's get ready for a big weekend. Make sure you get some rest on the weekend as well. And I'll see you in the next one.